Imagine building a river in the middle of a desert? Yes, you heard that right. Egypt is making it happen. But what could be the reason behind this? Because no one can decide one morning to build an artificial river in the middle of a desert? Stick around to find out because this is one story you don't want to miss. Egypt is famous for its iconic attractions, such as the Nile and the Egyptian pyramids. Since Sudan gained independence from Egypt, there are now officially 38 pyramids within Egypt out of a total of 118. Let's not forget about the Nile, Africa's majestic and life-giving river, which eventually flows into the azure waters of the Mediterranean Sea. In the past, Egypt was widely acclaimed for its proud distinction of having the world's longest river. But groundbreaking research conducted in 2007 by the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics unveiled a stunning revelation. The Amazon River surpasses it in length by an astonishing 105 kilometers. This magnificent river serves as the primary lifeline for both Egypt and Sudan, quenching their thirst and nurturing their lands. Much of the ancient Egyptian civilization not only flourished, but also thrived along its fertile banks, deeply ingrained in the river's bounty for sustenance and drawing from its life-sustaining waters for fishing and agriculture. The Nile River in Egypt, once abundant, is now suffering due to overpopulation in the nation, barely reaching the Mediterranean Sea. It serves as Egypt's primary water source, but this vital resource is rapidly diminishing. The construction and utilization of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, GERD, have further exacerbated the Nile's decline. Critics argue that the dam's construction worsens the depletion of the river, adding to Egypt's water crisis. Egypt faces a significant challenge right now, and it's all about not having enough water from the Nile River. This problem is happening for two main reasons. First, there are very long periods without rain, and second, the weather is getting hotter and drier. It's a situation that many other places in the world also have to deal with, but Egypt has an extra issue on top of that. There's a big dam on the Nile River, and this dam is making the water shortage even worse. In response to these difficult challenges, Egypt has come up with a big plan. They want to create a man-made river that will stretch 114 kilometers in length. This river project is quite massive, and it comes with a very high cost of 160 billion Egyptian pounds, which is approximately equivalent to $5.25 billion in US dollars. What makes this project even more remarkable is that it will be the longest of its kind anywhere in the entire world. This national project, known as the New Delta, comprises two additional projects, Egypt's future and the south of El Daba axis. These initiatives aim to expand the cultivation of strategic crops, helping reduce reliance on imports, which have been exacerbated by the Russia-Ukraine conflict. According to a report from Ashark Business, the Egyptian project plans to cultivate a substantial 2.2 million acres of agricultural land, with the water supply primarily relying on the recycling of agricultural drainage water and groundwater. This project, strategically located near airports and ports, is expected to create employment opportunities and, importantly, enhance food security while reducing the need for imports. Egypt's primary goal with this initiative is to expand its agricultural land, as it currently holds the title of the world's largest wheat importer. Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi has described the New Delta project as the largest endeavor in Egypt's history, and it will be situated along the new Rod al farag Daba axis road. According to the State Information Service website, the project's objectives include providing high-quality agricultural products at affordable prices for citizens and exporting surplus produce abroad. This will significantly contribute to reducing the country's import dependency, conserving foreign currency reserves, and advancing sustainable development goals. Additionally, the project is expected to generate approximately 10,000 direct job opportunities and over 360,000 indirect jobs, further boosting economic growth. In March, Saudi Arabia unveiled ambitious plans to construct a river longer than the Nile, measuring 4 meters in depth, 11 meters in width, and extending a whopping 12,000 kilometers. According to popular Saudi reporter Ahmad al shugairis TV series Scene, this project will employ anti-corrosion pipes, each with a diameter of 2.25 meters. This groundbreaking initiative involves significant efforts to create underground rivers that will provide water to homes in an area primarily characterized by desert terrain. 
The river will follow the Rod El Farag El Daba axis road, transporting water from the north coast across the entirety of the western desert to the new Delta Agricultural Zone. It will also have connection points at various airports and ports. The New Delta Project is a collaborative effort led by Egypt's ministries of water resources and irrigation, as well as agriculture and land resources, with support from President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and Prime Minister Mostafa Madbouli. Once completed, the New Delta Project will have the capacity to cultivate 9,200 square kilometers of land in the Western Desert, specifically aiming to increase fertile lands for wheat farming. As stated on the State Information Service's website, the primary aim of the project is to provide high-quality agricultural products at reasonable prices for citizens and export the surplus abroad, which contributes to reducing imports, saving hard currency, and achieving sustainable development goals. Egypt has been grappling with a dual crisis, marked by a persistent water deficit and food scarcity. According to the United Nations, Egypt faces one of the most severe water deficits in Africa and could exhaust its usable water supply by 2025. To address this issue, the government has reportedly implemented water rationing measures in the country, explored desalination of sea and lake water, and invested in modern irrigation systems. Egypt holds the title of the world's largest wheat importer, and it hopes that the new river project will enable the allocation of more land for wheat cultivation. Wheat is considered a strategically vital crop for Egypt to reduce import costs and potentially increase exports. The river project comprises 92 kilometers of open pathways and necessitates 22 kilometers of underground pipelines to manage groundwater, drainage, and surface water. The Al Hammam Agricultural Wastewater Treatment Plant will process these waters to produce 10 million cubic meters of water. As of now, 65% of the open river construction is complete, along with 35% of the water transmission pipework. While its primary objective is to augment water resources, enhance irrigation, and boost agricultural production, the New Delta Project also aims to reclaim barren land, stimulate economic growth, and generate over 10,000 job opportunities. The overarching goal of the project is to stimulate economic growth and enhance employment prospects in Egypt. It focuses on the expansion of agricultural areas and harnessing the untapped potential of the Western Desert through the cultivation of over 9,240 square kilometers and the promotion of agricultural self-sufficiency. The project aims to bolster the country's economy and create sustainable development prospects. While the concept of constructing an artificial river in Egypt's arid Western Desert may initially seem improbable, it has evolved into a viable and ambitious endeavor to advance agricultural regions and foster economic growth. What do you think? Will this artificial river completely solve the water crisis in Egypt? You can share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.